Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to do our third comic book video in 24 freaking hours. Can you believe it? Uh, we don't usually talk about comics. Unfortunately, all the news has been bad. It's not been good. The comic book industry has been completely paralyzed. Diamond has decided that they're going to stop shipping new books to comic book retailers. They're not going to uh, take any new merchandise, any new stock on from their publishing partners. There's no time frame given as to how long this is going to last, but it could effectively shut down comic shops. Now, many comic shops have already closed their doors because of uh, the crisis going on right now. A lot of states like ours, we are in Pennsylvania, uh, all non-essential businesses are supposed to shut down. That includes a lot of comic shops. We have a lot of comic shops in PA. And uh, they're, most of them probably going to be closing their doors. Some of them uh, probably permanently. And that's the problem. Uh, these shops can't afford to be down for a month, two months. you know. And we don't know how long this thing is going to last. Uh, most of these shops can't afford to be down for a week. And Steve Jeppe's announcement yesterday, I joked on Twitter, and I, I stand by it. It sounded kind of like, like Bilbo Baggins' speech in Lord of the Rings, where he's kind of like, uh, hey fam, uh, gotta go for now, but, uh, you've been great. Well, not all of you, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. And that's kind of what it felt like. Um, it really did feel to me anyway, just, you know, again, looking at this from a former comic creator perspective, looking at this from a comic book fan perspective, it looked to me like he knew he was letting these comic shops sink or swim on their own. And he was just kind of, uh, you know, exiting stage right. I don't know how retailers feel about it. I don't know how the publishers feel about it. It seems like everybody's scrambling now to make sense of what the hell is going to happen next for the comic book industry. But it's not going to be a good thing. I think this is going to be uh, the death and rebirth of the comic book shop as we know it. And I think comic shops will, you know, again, there are very, very few of them left in the U.S. anyway. I think they're going to... Um, the ones who are going to stay in business or, or come back swinging are probably going to be kind of like vinyl shops, right? They're going to have vintage comics and uh, other pop culture memorabilia and not be dependent on new books. But you know what? A lot of comic shops now uh, don't depend on new comic book sales anyway. They've, they've already decided they're not going to sell new comics because they can't sell new comics. You know, that's, that's the state of the industry right now. But hey, at least other publications are, you know, starting to snap into reality. Uh, they're starting to see the bigger picture. They're starting to think like YouTubers and critics of the comic book industry have been thinking for years. They're starting to wake up to the fact that, you know, Diamond being the monopoly that it is in the comic book industry was never a good thing. And that comic book shops are hanging by a thread as it is. And this is a, a devastating blow. It's a devastating blow. Even Polygon, Diamond Comics' decision is a blow to the already beleaguered retailers. I, I do feel personally, again, I'm not a retailer, but it just struck me as Steve Jeppe and company just sort of jump and ship. Like, everybody expected there to be a big plan, a master plan. Here's how we're going to save comics and da-da-da. Nah, it was just like, yeah, we're just shutting down for now. You know, you guys are on your own. Be creative. Sell what you got. You know, good luck. And we'll see you on the other side of this, maybe. Maybe. And actually, this guy here agrees with me, Larry O. You know, this is this is the, the statement I had a problem with. I encourage you to let loose your own creativity. For the time being, you'll be able to replenish your perennials. But you should also remember the stock you have. Sell what you have if your doors remain open. It's likely you will have customers who will continue to seek diversion. Um, if it looks like cake, smells like cake, let them eat it, I guess, right? The response is all sorts of unhelpful and tone deaf. I don't have a lot of good feelings about what this will do to the industry. Um, I don't either. I don't either. I think I think Steve Jeppe is basically, uh, I think Diamond is basically abandoning shops. And the Diamond that comes back might be radically different than the Diamond that just closed its doors at this point. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Curious, though, I, I read this article in The Beat yesterday when they made the announcement. And uh, the first comment, Terry Moore. That's it then. That's it then. Uh, coming from Terry Moore. Yeah, Terry, it, it's it. It's game over. I think it's game over for most comic shops. And it gets worse. It gets worse. DC Comics printer is closing tomorrow. 
So not only can, you know, retailers not get comics from Diamond, not only can most retailers not keep their doors open, but now DC Comics won't be printing anything for a while either. So this sounds bad. I mean, this is not good. Uh, and, you know, look, there are a lot of printers that are shutting down. Uh, for sure, I know a lot of the printers in China were shut down because of the situation over there a lot of american printers if they're in states that are on lockdown are also shutting down um but transcontinental is one of the biggest comic book printers out there they do all of dc stuff and they're they're shutting down for three weeks um yeah so this is just another blow uh that's gonna set things back even further but it could be worse i mean at least for now i guess dc is still in business we don't know what's going to happen about that though um, interesting thing, Warner Media is not doing that well. You know, Warner Media stock is dropping. Of course, it is. They're an entertainment company. The entertainment industry is taking a beating from this. Now, stocks did rebound a little bit today because, you know, everybody's talking about a stimulus package. I'll believe it when I see it. You know, but uh, Warner's not doing so hot. Uh, DC can't sell comic books for the foreseeable future, at least to comic shops. Warner Media has been cutting like crazy. This, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, this is this is the logic as I see it. Comic shops close. Diamond stops shipping new books. More comic shops close. Small publishers go bankrupt. Disney and Warner, who are already hurting, have to ponder whether or not comics are even worth it to them anymore. Marvel and DC stop publishing. It's possible. Because, uh, look, Valiant. Valiant told their people to put their pencils down. They're going to close for a month. It might be longer than that. There are so many of these companies that they're like, oh yeah, we're just going to put, you know, push pause and then we're going to you know, resume business as usual in a month or two or three or six. And I don't think that's going to happen for a lot of these publishers. Now, Valiant did do an interview with The Beat um, and they said that, uh, yeah, you know, this kind of sucks. They didn't want to, uh, didn't want to lay people off, didn't want to lay freelancers off, but they had to do it. Because business is business. It's not just Valiant, though. IDW. IDW suspends May 2020 publications. More plans in response to Diamond shutdown. I don't think this is going to be a short-term thing, guys. Because I, I think we're going to find out just how fragile the comic book industry actually is. And you've got publishers like IDW that are already hemorrhaging money. I don't think they're going to be able to bounce back from this thing. You know, now the one interesting thing that has come up in all of this... Uh, and we'll put, oh yeah, Vault is another one is going to delay all of its titles. Do you think they can stop publishing for a couple months and stay in business? I don't know. The one positive thing that has come out of this is that some publishers and retailers have been saying that they really need to stop and think about what people in the industry want. Uh, you know, what readers actually want. And I think that that is the underlying problem with the direct market now is that the publishers have been telling people what to buy, what to read, what they should like, and not actually producing product that the vast majority of, of readers want. And so they're, they're losing them. They're losing them. Um, Brian Hibbs at Comics Experience, I pulled this out, said that uh, half of all direct market retailers will be forced, closed, or restricted by this Wednesday. I'm telling you guys, comics can't, it can't survive this. Maybe a healthier industry could have withstood this, but there's a lot of talk about digital, and I don't think digital comics make up enough of the market to be sustainable. You know, I really don't. Uh, Comixology, good luck getting numbers out of them. And even then, that doesn't help comic shops. How, how, how are digital comics going to help comic book shops? They're not. They're not. And a lot of people don't like digital for various reasons. Uh, I read it as a last resort. If I can't get something, I'll, I'll buy a digital copy, but... It's not my first preference, you know. Um, it's it's over. It's over, you know. I mean, maybe comics will surprise me, but again, if this industry wasn't as weak as it currently is, uh, I think you know I could see it bouncing back. I just think that this is uh, this is the kill shot. It's already been, but well, it was time to take the industry out back. And uh, this is going to be what finally does it in. Uh, but it's not solely because of this. And I, I know a lot of people are going to spin that. We've talked about the time traveling virus in other podcasts. We've talked about how movie studios are going to blame last year's box office flops 
on the virus this year. Like, oh, the rise of Skywalker failed in China because of the virus. It's like the rise of Skywalker failed in China because they hate Star Wars and they hated the rise of Skywalker. It had nothing to do with that, right? Uh, and that's what's going to happen with the comic book industry. You're going to, you know, comics is going to take a massive, massive hit. And you're going to have these journalists out there and be like, well, it's only because of the... Because of the virus and the shutdown, if it wasn't for the shutdown, comics would be fine. No, no, it's just delaying the inevitable at this point. So uh, it's going to be a really interesting year, guys, for sure. And I don't, I don't, uh, you know, take any, any pleasure in a bunch of people losing their jobs unless they're uh, complete and total assholes. In that case, you know, learn to code. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.